you're back. I'm Dan Salem with Bus Jump Fitness Entertainment, and we're going to discuss five exercises for beginners. This is all about your first fitness foray. You're not an expert, you're not even semi intermediate. You really want to work your body, tone it up, feel good, maybe, maybe even break a little sweat, but you're a beginner. Which five exercises are the best? I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp. Woo -hoo. There are so many different exercises out there. And honestly, we've reviewed a ton of workouts. We've done great tutorials, a ton of fitness challenges here on Buzz Chomp. But honestly, all of, all of them, right, right, right? We have a slew of exercises to pick from. But these five hone in on all of your muscle groups. So this will give you a top to bottom feel. And it's really about balance and core. Because if you're new to fitness, you're going to be using your core a lot for stability. You're going to be using your core a lot to hold your body in place. You don't want to use the wrong muscles because you'll pull something, but every time you use your core is the right time. Core is great for stability no matter what the exercise is. I will detail my five exercises and then go into a little bit more info on how you can put them together as a workout circuit if you so choose. There's five of them. I recommend 10 sets each once or twice through because you're a beginner. But we'll, we'll get to that afterwards. First and foremost, the plank. Now I know you're saying everyone says plank, blah, blah, blah. But you gotta do the right plank for you. If you're strong enough, do a regular traditional plank. It stabilizes your core, it works your arms, it works your legs, it works your back and your shoulders. It's a top to bottom burn. And if you're doing this as a circuit, start with it, because it burns. And it'll light your fire on body on fire and it'll really get your muscle juices flowing. If you need to, do a forearm plank. It's a little bit easier. It's, it's dispersing the weight more across your forearms. You're still working all the same muscles, but you can hold it a little bit longer. I like them both. Personally, I like to switch between them. Switch with, start with one, and then try the other. Do it for at least 30 seconds. Try to go for a full minute. A minute's not very long in plank. After plank comes leg extensions. This is all about the core, yet, it's unique in the fact that it does work the legs a little bit because you're kicking the legs out. So you, you have the extra motion of the kicking the legs while you're all about doing the core and working the abs. I don't like just to want to recommend a traditional ab work like crunches or sit-ups. That's kind of boring. But this leg extension, which is almost like a leg kick out, ties in the legs along with the core, which makes it a great exercise for beginners because you're getting a little added oomph, but you also have the benefit of stabilizing yourself with your arms so that you're not like overworking the muscle group because that's the key as a beginner. You don't want to overwork your muscles. You want to ease into it and get the burn, but you want to be able to learn your limit. Next are punches. Now punches are very, very strength building, but also mentally tough. It's easy to just punch the air, but you want to do it slowly and deliberately so you really feel your full arm. This is a full arm and shoulder workout if you do it properly. So really thrust forward completely with a full extension and take your time so that you can get a rhythm and a beat but you're not just half heartedly punching and you're not weakly punching. You need to give it your all. You're not punching at anything but the air. You also need core stability to hold your body in place. I recommend starting with one foot forward and then switching halfway through so you can kind of feel how that feels for your body. It gives you a different body rhythm, a bit of body stance. It also switches up how you disperse your weight and so which muscles you're using a little bit more than others. But punches are great for your entire arm. And if you do a set of 50, you're really gonna feel it. 10 will feel easy, but if you do it enough, it's not gonna feel so easy anymore. Squat jumps are next. This combines a squat with a jump, so it's just like it sounds. Squats are great, you know it. Legs, core, all the legs and the core. But adding the jump in is really about finding your center of balance, your stability, and it's a little extra oomph core, plus a tad bit of cardio, which is why I like it. And you need to really focus so that you jump up and come back down and then smooth into the squat. So you don't want to over, over rush it. You want to take your time, but really get that jump in and feel it, and you'll work those muscles a little bit extra. That's what the squat jump is. It's like a little bit extra on top of the squat, and that's what all of these exercises are, adding a little bit extra to something you probably already know, which is why they are five great exercises for beginners, to combine into a circuit. We end with jumping jacks. This is the most traditional exercise of all, but it's one of my favorites because yes, there's the cardio, but there's arms and there's legs and there's core. 
and you don't even know it until like the next day. If you do a set of 100 jumping jacks the next day, you feel it in your arms and your shoulders and your legs, and you're like, what the heck did I do? Oh, I did jumping jacks. So this is a nice place to transition into the circuit aspect of this, because combining these five exercises into a circuit will give you a full body sweat, probably 10, 15 minutes. It's not a long, it's a home workout, no equipment required. I like to start with plank and then with jumping jacks. Do it in the order I set. You're gonna go basically core, legs, arms, legs, cardio. It's, it's nice because you're switching. It's not like back to back same muscles. All of these work the core. All of them have a little cardio element. But you're gonna get the legs and the arms and it's, it's a full body. Do, try to do two rounds, 10 reps per exercise. For the plank, I said a minute plank each round. I didn't hold it quite that long for the demo purposes. Hold it for a minute. This is an easy one to remember, and it's a great, great little home circuit that you can combine with these five amazing exercises for beginners. I'm Dan Salem. Subscribe to the Bus Jump YouTube channel for more great fitness and entertainment videos all week long. And comment below, is there an exercise you're wondering about? Because we would love to tutorial it for you, because we're here to help you train in fitness. Woo! Five exercises for beginners. Thanks for watching Buzz Chop. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share.